make an impact, we don't necessarily need to know the future. We don't need to be free of doubt. We don't need to be sure that we will be supported by others. We only need to believe in an idea. What uh, really inspired me many years ago during the Peace Must Fall movement was the way the youth could articulate themselves and take on the likes of uh, university leadership, the VCs, and, and really engage with them, debate with them, and, and really sort of bring about change um, through, their, through their debate and through the, the way that we were, they were able to articulate their cause. The youth have been on the forefront of speaking up against regime or unfairness. And I think as corporates, we need to listen more. Yeah. The power of the mouth and the power of the word is underrated. And we need to take action to make sure that young people's voices are heard, they have the space to be creative, and they have the space to really dream. We are changing the coding ecosystem of the future to really develop young people for future career opportunities. Not just in coding, but everything is becoming digital. Everything is becoming AI, chat, GPT, etc., etc. And we have a high youth unemployment rate. How do we create the skills for a changing world? That's what we are trying to do. I would like South Africa to not hold the status of being the most unequal society in the world. How do we change the narrative about being that generation? Carves out relevant solutions for purpose solutions in terms of where we're going forward. The fact that we continue to look up to big business to create jobs is problematic in itself. The point that uh, the advocate made around small businesses entry and exit in South Africa having a lifespan of three years, it's part of what we should be looking into. I want to say thank you for the wonderful panelists coming on stage and please give them a round of applause.